the modern motorcycle. It's safer by design and by the skill of an experienced operator. No other road vehicle provides the acceleration and maneuverability. However, perhaps no other vehicle is so demanding of the operator. A motorcycle demands that the operator be alert, use common sense, and most important, always ride defensively. Every year, additional motorcycles join the four-wheel vehicles that crowd today's traffic scene. The same traffic rules and regulations apply to all vehicles licensed for street operation. Hand signals are the same, and they mean the same most anywhere in the United States. Arm pointed upward, right turn. Arm extended, left turn. The same for lane changing or passing. Always signal your intention. It's your means of communication with other motorists. Arm down, slow, and stop. Hand signals are the same for an automobile driver or a motorcycle rider. A defensive rider may exaggerate hand signals for greater visibility and may signal a bit sooner so his hand may return to the controls to help maneuver his machine in passing, stopping, or turning. When turning, a motorcyclist keeps hands and feet at the ready position near the controls. A good defensive tip is to point your motorcycle slightly in the direction of your turn for better communication with other motorists. Constant alertness is a key to defensive riding, particularly at intersections where visibility is impaired. Remember, two wheels will rarely win an encounter with four wheels, no matter who is in the right. An auto signal indicator may not always mean that the automobile will actually make the indicated turn. Be prepared to stop two or even three times at an intersection if necessary. Whenever riding on the street, give yourself three ways to go. Right, left, and be certain to remember that the ability to stop is an important factor in riding defensively. At all intersections, be extra cautious. Never assume oncoming traffic will yield the right of way. Foot lightly on the rear brake pedal. Fingertips ready on the front brake lever. Be prepared for a sudden stop. We know that for many years we've had difficulties with automobiles coming together at intersections. And now this difficulty has seemed to be extremely bad with motorcyclists. Police have known for years that automobile drivers did not look for one another at intersections as they ought to. And in 1967, I discovered the same thing with motorcyclists. I stood at these intersections and found that people did not observe as they ought to. The first step when overtaking a vehicle you are going to pass is to get the overall traffic picture. Make certain it is clear ahead, especially on hills and curves. Give the passed vehicle a wide berth and be sure the automobile can see you in his rearview mirrors. Keep a firm grip on the handlebars and watch for gusts of wind, particularly when passing trucks and other larger vehicles. After you've passed, make certain you can see the passed vehicle in your rearview mirrors and clearly indicate your intention with hand or an electric signal device before moving back into your traffic lane. Street surface conditions are the same for all vehicles, four wheels or two. The difference is the surface is more critical of two wheels, so a motorcyclist must constantly be on the lookout for such hazards as wet surfaces and the slick caused by early morning dew. A defensive rider keeps his attention on the road and looks ahead as far as possible to slow down for changing conditions, such as loose gravel. A motorcyclist knows that surface conditions, as well as traffic conditions, can change around the next turn. A paved street may suddenly give way to an unimproved road. Caution and controlling speed is your best defense. When approaching an unfamiliar intersection, a motorcycle rider cannot always rely on the movement of automobile traffic to indicate good surface conditions. Always be alert for possible construction areas. Many streets have built-in surface hazards, 
such as storm drains, which may be slick. Watch for manhole covers. And the ever-present surface ruts and chuck holes, particularly on oil and asphalt surface streets. Railroad tracks may be a special hazard to a motorcyclist. Your first defense is to slow down. The safest angle to cross tracks is as straight as possible. Completely perpendicular is best. And again, always slowly. No braking, no acceleration. When tracks run parallel, be extra cautious. Maneuver across at the widest possible angle. The key to defensive riding is to always expect the unexpected on any street at any time. As you ride, think ahead and always be prepared to stop, even in situations where traffic is light. Be alert for cars that may back out of a drive. Consider the possibility that the automobile driver's visibility is impaired. Even when conditions seem safe, an automobile may turn left into a drive, a possibility the defensive rider always considers. The overwhelming majority of automobile motorcycle collisions are a result of the automobile driver not seeing the motorcycle operator. Greater emphasis must be placed on the recognition of this problem in traffic education. An all too common situation. After coming to a stop, an automobile pulls out into the path of an oncoming motorcycle who has the right of way. Perhaps the motorist misjudged the speed of the motorcycle or just didn't see the smaller vehicle. The smaller the object, the less visible. For example, a pencil held vertically at arm's length will completely conceal a motorcyclist just 120 feet away. At 40 miles per hour, a motorcycle will cover this distance in less than two seconds. Two wheels, four wheels. Every year, more and more of them crowd the same streets together. Every year it becomes more important to learn to coexist together, to always ride defensively, especially in crowded traffic situations where the smaller two-wheeled vehicle may be harder to see. The proper lane position for a motorcycle is slightly left or right of center, off the grease strip and off the dividing white line. Allow maneuvering room and never ride too close to parked cars where a door may open unexpectedly. Be alert to oncoming traffic, especially around a curve where centrifugal force may cause a vehicle to drift over the center line. To ride and think ahead, you must see ahead. Stay back, avoid tailgating. A good rule is to allow at least two car lengths for each 10 miles of our speed. As you ride, allow a safety space or circle around your motorcycle, front and rear. The defensive way is to always keep dangerous situations outside your safety circle. When slowing or stopping, look out for a possible squeeze situation from an overtaking vehicle. A passenger adds responsibility to a motorcycle rider. All passengers should sit on the seat behind with one leg on each side, never side saddle, and feet should be positioned on footrests where they should stay. The passenger should hold onto the operator with both hands lightly resting around the waist and should never assume the responsibility of helping to balance the machine, especially in a turn. Passengers, too, should always wear a fastened helmet. Night riding is light riding. Make certain head, tail, and signal lights are working properly. Visibility is an important key to defensive riding after dark. And watch your speed. After sundown, it's always safer to slow down. Dirt riding is fun, but it's different than learning to ride on paved surfaces. 
There is no short course of instruction for trail or dirt riding. It takes practice and a machine that is equipped for off-street operation. The tires, for example, are more knobby for more bite. Your dealer or instructor will point out the other differences. Generally, the rules for trail and street riding are the same. Be courteous and respect the rights of others, including property rights. Bridle trails are for horses, not motorcycles. Horseback riders will appreciate a motorcycle rider who is courteous and considerate. Always avoid frightening animals with loud noise, such as needlessly gunning your motorcycle. On the trail or on the street, obey the signs. In general, simply use common sense and never become careless in the operation of a motorcycle. Traffic, Belmont and Broadway. Operator carelessness is probably the greatest cause of motor vehicle accidents, whether they be two wheels or four. In this film, we've demonstrated to you many of the key points for safe motorcycling. Always wear a helmet. Think about the kind of protective clothing that is best for the kind of riding that you're going to do. Remember that that clothing can also help you to be seen. In most motorcycle crashes, the driver of the car indicates that he did not see the motorcyclist. Try to be seen. Identify your movements in traffic so that other drivers will notice you. Also, always practice the best rules of the road. Obey the law. If you do these things, you'll find that motorcycling is a safe and pleasurable sport. Two wheels or four, the best drivers are defensive drivers. They are not careless operators. Defensive riding begins with a background to the motorcycle, learning safe riding techniques, acquiring a defensive attitude, and becoming thoroughly acquainted with the use and function of your motorcycle controls. Demonstrations of the natural forces that affect the operation of a motorcycle show that the key to controlling a two-wheel vehicle is balancing one natural force against the other. Defensive driving is fundamental to the safe operation of any motor vehicle in traffic situations. All safe motorcycle riders are defensive and alert riders, and they all have one thing in common, common courtesy.